Hi, everyone. I'm Jason, Animal Care Manager in African Rift Valley here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And today I'm coming to you from one of our special places inside the barn. This is where we do voluntary husbandry training with our giraffe. And today with me are Rachel and Molly, two of our outstanding keepers here at the zoo. And of course, the star of this update is Bailey, our 10-year-old expectant giraffe mom-to-be. And we're joined in this space because we're gonna do something pretty unique with her today. This is a, a routine, comfortable area for her to participate in normal husbandry care, but we're actually gonna put a little bit of paint on Bailey's front hooves. And what that's gonna mean is that Molly's just gonna clean that off and apply a little bit of purple paint. And that purple color will be a great way for you guys to be able to distinguish Bailey from our other 15 giraffe. So we do have a large herd here at the zoo, and sometimes it's a little bit tricky to be able to tell them all apart. And Bailey, since she's our expectant mom, we wanted to give her a unique way for you guys to be able to see that. You can see that the keepers are working with her and Bailey loves her snacks. So participating in voluntary training is no challenge for Bailey. She's really food made, motivated and loves these interactions with her keepers when we're, when we're able to provide those with her throughout the week. And this paint that uh, Molly's applying is just a non-toxic tempera finger paint. So it's been approved by our vet staff. And you can see she's comfortably standing there and it's looking great so far. She's got some great toenail polish going on. And of course, um, one of the things that we're also doing to make sure that we kind of know when Bailey's gonna be getting close to giving birth is we're watching for a few things. Sometimes we see giraffe who might go off of food a little bit or they might change their behaviors. Although Bailey didn't really do that with her first calf. And so some other things that we can sort of look for that are more telling signs for us is we'll start to see her udder develop a little bit differently and actually get a white waxy coat on the tips of those udders. And when we start visualizing that, then um, we know that she's having some physical changes and that birth window will get a little bit shorter for us. And so having her participate in these voluntary training sessions allows us to kind of get a good check at her and then we can kind of see what's going on with that. And those waxy, uh, that waxy white tip color on the udders is actually colostrum forming, and that's important for newborn calves to get right away within the first 24 hours. It provides a calf with antibodies, which is gonna set their immune system up to be really healthy and have the strongest uh, possibility of being um, a great outcome for a newborn calf. And then after they get the colostrum, then they'll start, the mom like Bailey, we'll do, we'll have uh, milk production after that. And so that's where we're at. We wanted to uh, capture her visually differently from the other giraffe for you guys. And so we added a little bit of purple paint. And then to help us kind of figure out when this is gonna be, we've all made some guesses here within our zoo and staff. And so you can see we have our October board. Although Rachel way up here at the top guessed September 30th, she missed that window. Rachel's laughing at me right now, but she can make a new guess. And then we have some of our other guesses on here. Really Bailey's window was from September 19th all the way through November 19th. They can have a gestation period of 14 to 16 months. I'm down here on um, October 18th with Dr. Lisa. I picked that date because that was similar. It's actually the exact same timeline that Bailey went last time one day before 15 months. And so we'll see if she sort of hits that window. You can see if we flip this around in November, we have Bob, our CEO and president, pick November 5th. Not a lot of guesses on this side, so we'll see if he got that right, and she's gonna be way longer than most of us think, but a lot of guesses in the middle of the month. And this is actually a fun game that you all can participate in as well. And so we're asking you all to put in your guess for the day and time that it'll be. And if you're the winner that's selected um, by winning the right day and time, then you can uh, actually win an encounter behind the scenes with our fabulous giraffe herd. And we ask you guys to just do that through cmzoo.org backslash guess. And we have over 700 guesses right now. And so feel free to keep putting those guesses in. It just needs to be within the first or the 48 hours before she gives birth. And then we'll continue to monitor those guesses and see when it's coming. Although it's probably right here, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> we'll see when she wants to do it. Um, but again, we're watching for those physical signs. And um, please put your guesses in. And then if you just want to follow Bailey, we have a couple of great opportunities for you guys as she's moving closer to her birth window and having her next calf. It'll actually be her second calf. You can follow Bailey at night um, from about 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. every morning. We have a live stream YouTube channel that is set up that you guys can log into or you can go to CMZoo 
dot org backslash draft cam. And that'll get you there as well too. So there's a couple options. And when she does go into labor, we'll also probably do that as a live stream option as well. So keep looking into those. And then we'll be coming to you guys weekly with updates on Bailey and how she's doing and when her calf gets here. So stay tuned for those. And thank you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you guys soon.